remember. with you. This town ain't big enough for the likes of you. Yeah, it barely fits us. Get lost, yeah. Parker. Sheriff, get a jail cell ready for these fools. Ah. How dare you! Ah. Reach for the sky, you undercooked patty. <laughs> This town is safe. <laughs> Whoa! Burger's so amazing on stage. Next Tuesday. <laughs> Who is it? <laughs> Huh? Oh. Who on earth? <laughs> Hello, sir. My name's Brett, and I'm a background actor here. <laughs> oh, you scared us. What do you want? Can you tell me if I can do acting like you? Acting? No! Mr. Hamburger's a busy man! He doesn't have time to coach hopeless kids! <laughs> it's fine. We should encourage kids to dream. Let's see what you got. Thanks! Thank you so much! Thank you! Thanks! I've been waiting to, uh, revenge you. I mean, this town is big enough. I, wait, no, it's not big. Enough! <laughs> what the crust was that? That was disastrous. You come into my dressing room and waste my time like that? Here's my advice. You're better off doing anything else. <laughs> I'm late! Oh dear, I'm late! No! What now? Our stylist! Are you hurt? No, I'm okay! No. Mr. Sweetbun, did he hurt you? I think my wrist has been sprained. I don't think I can work today. Can't work? Hello? We need a stylist now. Right now! It's urgent! We need help! There's no one! Oh. Your fault. Uh, but it was uh, enough to waste our time. Now you have to go and ruin the whole play. Uh, Don't you know the value of community theater? I'm sorry, sir. Oh. <laughs> oh. Uh, 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 yes, these are the hands belonging only to the chosen one. Huh? Why don't we give this lad a shot as a stylist? Uh, what? No! I don't even know why he's here! He's a talentless fool! Wait! This boy has a gift no hairstylists have seen for hundreds of years! His fingers are perfect for holding scissors! His palm lines foretell his success! Even the freckles on his arm make a scissors constellation! It's your destiny! No way, sir. I don't know the first thing about... Ah! <laughs> My hand hurts. I won't be able to hold anything ever again. With no one to replace me, this theater's performance is done for. Just think of all those poor people who've already bought tickets. <laughs> okay, I'll help out. You will? But please, teach me. I don't know what to do. Never fear, son. You're telling me this moron's gonna do our makeup and hair? Well, it seems we have no other choice left. Old man Bun, if this fails, then it's on you. You can trust me. Hmm. You win, but if you fail, I can promise you, you'll never work in this town again! Um, huh? Hmm? Hmm? <laughs> uh, embrace your destiny, son. <gasps> He cut the tomato. Why? I'm curious to see how well he does. Wow, he cut the cheese. Hey, making bacon is a fire hazard. Wait, let the boy work. He might be onto something. Uh... <coughs> 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 
does remember what he's supposed to be doing, right? Maybe he's just making lunch. Hmm. Hey, what's the meaning of this? Ah! What has he done? This is outrageous! I knew I was right about him. Hey, you're not half bad. You're horrible at acting, but you made me look real nice. Uh, uh, hmm. Wow! That guy knows what he's doing. He should do this as a career. This town is safe. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Wow, hamburger looks even better than usual. He looks great. I agree. Uh. <laughs> 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 huh? right. Young yeah. <laughs> man, what would you say if I gave you a job? Huh? Huh? Yes, it can be hard to walk away from something you love. Uh, uh. But it's important to foster our talent, and you have talent. Yes, thank you so much. <laughs> hey, clean the floor over here, it's filthy. Of course, I'll get that cleaned up right away. That was hot, I almost fell down. Sorry, ma'am, let me get that for you. Hmm. Hmm. Mr. Sweetbun, he was... The bread who made me who I am today. The Apprentice. Good as new! Oh, well, get a load of this. <laughs> the place actually looks clean for a change. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Huh? How did it get to be noon? I'm late for lunch, but hmm. I promise I'll be back soon. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Needless to say. Huh? <laughs> Sorry I'm late. Dude, I've practically expired. Ever since we were pint-sized, Wilk's always been late. That's so sure true. All right, now let's <laughs> spill the milk. What are you up to? I work at Doe's for donuts, and now I even get to do perms. Oh, sweet. They let you do perms? Turns out I'm very good. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm working at an alternative salon, and I like to style with whipped cashew cream. No surprise there. Whipped cream was always your specialty back in school. Of course, of course. <laughs> well, you can find me at Hot Coco's Barbershop. I'm well on my way to lead stylist. Ah, I always knew you were the creme de la creme. Wow, incredible. <laughs> oh, you know, it's no big deal. Anyway, Wilk, what are you up to these days? Yeah, did you find a job? Mm, yeah, I work at a barbershop, oh? too. Oh, no kidding? What's your specialty? Perming? Creams? Mm, it's cleaning. What? <laughs> Dude, that's perfect! Did our professor always say you'd be better off sweeping the floor? <laughs> if you haven't aced the art of styling by now, it's maybe time to move on. Huh? That's right. I think it's high time you find yourself another job. Uh, another job? Let me ask you this. Has your boss ever encouraged you to work on your styling skills? Puff Factor! Scrub like the wind! You're wasting my time! You know, now that I think of it, he hasn't. Of course he hasn't. He didn't hire you to be a stylist. He hired you to clean up. You've got to open your eyes and do exactly what I say. Master Brad, I'm back. Mm, I see. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sir, may I ask? Mm -hmm. If your boss says, well, someday soon, perhaps, then you're doomed. 
Master Bread, when will I get to style hair? Oh, someday soon, perhaps. Uh, that's just what Chocolate Milk said. And if he gets mad, there's little to no chance he will ever promote you. Mm. Master Bread, uh. you're planning to make me clean the shop forever, aren't you? Uh, you are giving me a bread aid. Now don't just stand there, sweet. So it's true. I'm never going to be a stylist. <laughs> You've killed my dream. Uh. Huh? Oh. Master Bread never intended to make me a barber after all. Maybe it is time to move on. What? The barber has no idea when he'll arrive? Yeah, he said he's on a wild moose chase, so he doesn't know. But everyone's waiting to get their hair done now. What to do? Hmm. Huh? Hmm? <laughs> Excuse me, haven't I seen uh -huh. you before at Bread Barber's shop? Yes. Isn't Bread Barber's shop the most famous salon in town? Mm-hmm. I've seen him working oh. there through the window. Hello, oh. hello. <laughs> we work as volunteers at the community center, mm -hmm. where we look after less fortunate moldy breads. They look forward to hair day all month long, but it seems the barber is running late. Do you think there's any way that you can do their hair instead? Oh, but I'm only an assistant. Well, I bet you're great if you work in that shop. Please say you'll help us out. Look, it's Will. Huh? Huh? What are you doing here? Uh, they asked for my help with a hairstyling session. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You're asking Colonel Wilk to style hair? <laughs> Why would you settle for Wilk when you can have us? Uh, okay then. Maybe you can all help. We'll show you what real style looks like. <laughs> Here we are. Welcome. This is where the moldy breads spend their time. Whoa. This is definitely not what I expected. You can sort that again. Will we turn moldy if we touch them? You seem surprised, but don't worry, I assure you. These harmless molds aren't contagious at all. It's just that no one wants to cut their hair because of how they look. Please say yes and give them a haircut they'll never forget. I'm always up for a challenge. Hm. Ah! But not this one! I'll never unsee that! What? But you didn't even do anything. So it be it. I've got this. Behold, the virtuoso soy with his whipped cream soy nada. Ah, it's laying unevenly because of the mold. You've left me no choice, but I will wave my pride aside and save the day. <laughs> it's chocolate time. <laughs> what is this? It's grabbing my scissors. Huh. <laughs> Clearly a job unworthy of my skill. <sighs> Wilk, I guess that leaves you to give it a try. Oh, me? Oh, you don't want Wilk. Yeah, he finished last in school. What if I failed just like in school? I don't want to make the molds feel even worse. Take these. <gasps> if you give up before you try, you'll never know what could have happened. Fortune favors <laughs> the mold. Are you a milk or a mouse? Uh, hmm. Milk. Uh, I have to find a way to remove the mold. I don't know why you're making huh? such a fuss about this mold. Just use a pair of tongs and get the job done. Right. Huh? I'll use the method that Master Bread taught me. Hey there, might you have a pair of tongs? Huh? Tongs? What on earth? He still thinks he's cleaning. <laughs> Here you go. Did you see that? He got rid of all the mold. Beginner's luck. The art of the mop. You have to apply enough pressure back and forth in order to clean the floor properly. Shine the mirrors. If you wipe the mirrors using a circular motion, you'll end up with a streak-free shine. Brushing. Use a delicate touch. Sorting. Always keep things in order. <laughs> That's amazing! Wow, that was incredibly cool! You're amazing! I can't believe you ever doubted yourself! Oh, please style my hair! And mine, too! <laughs> now everybody, wait your turn! Yeah, what's all the fuss about? So we can use a pair of tongs! Yeah, and he's nothing more than an assistant. Yeah, that's true, but aren't we just assistants? <laughs> You're right. Wilk, you must be 
tired. Why don't you take a break? Oh, don't worry. I'm fine to keep going. Greetings, all. <gasps> I'm sorry I'm late. <laughs> Sir, you finally made it. Indeed. Huh? Uh... Oh, did you style their hair in my place? What a hard-working young fellow. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, you're Master Bread's teacher, aren't you? Hmm. You must be Bread's new apprentice. You've done him proud. Now get some rest. My apprentice will take over for you. <laughs> Showing off. Wilk, allow me to introduce to you my best student, Melon Bread. <laughs> the Barber's Apprentices. Welcome to Bread Barber Shop. Choco, let's mm. get a move on. Sure. Where on earth did Wilk go and what's keeping him so long? Master Bread! Uh, <laughs> Wilk, you better have an explanation for this. But, sir, look who I've brought with me. Bread, it's been quite some time. Oh, <laughs> Master, what a pleasant surprise. <laughs> well, I had some errands to do in Bakery Town, you see. We met <laughs> Moldy Breadberg, and I brought him here. <laughs> <laughs> well, everything seems to be in order here. <laughs> <laughs> well, of course, I was taught by the best. <laughs> oh, who might this be? Allow me to introduce my new pupil. This is Melon Bread. How do you do? Mm. Your new pupil? Mm. After I handed my shop over to you, I mm. decided to take some time off. Mm. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> you again! <laughs> <laughs> me too, me too! Hey, she's not finished with me. Oh, I couldn't ignore such raw talent, so I decided mm. to teach her. Wow, what a story! Your talent really did blow me away. Hi there, my name is Wilk. Um, I think we should be friends. Uh, hmm. Huh? <laughs> Talk about a cold melon. That's how kids are these days. <laughs> I'm afraid I'm a bit peckish after the trip. Oh, of course you are. <laughs> Don't worry, Master. We'll make you a feast fit for a king. <laughs> I'll grill up some meat. And I'll fix us something to drink. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what a pleasure to see you and your shop so successful. <laughs> it's all thanks to your teachings. By the by, I was quite impressed with your assistant. Why, he turned those super molds into supermodels. Who will? Cross knows I've tried my hardest to teach that milk toast. Hmm. In that case, why don't we let Melon Bread and Wilk have a hair battle? <laughs> Melon Bread has journeyed from town to town, training to be the best barber. And I suspect this battle will teach them both something. Well, <laughs> still, with no time to prepare. Uh, I'd love to. Uh, I mean, uh, I have a ton to learn from Melon Bread. Uh, uh, Wilk! Well, <laughs> we'll meet you tomorrow in the empty parking lot. Until tomorrow, then. Have a nice evening. See you tomorrow. Oh. Mr. Bread, are you all right? By the way, isn't uh. Melon Bread something? Oh. I got to see her uh. in action, and she is a genius. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. All right. Shall we let the battle commence? Yes, I huh? think I'm ready. Hmm. Yes. For the first round, you will carve the coconut. A coconut? Mmm. A true barber can turn solid rock into living art with their very hands. The first to finish their art carving into the coconut wins the round. Ready, set, begin! How am I supposed to carve through this hard shell? Hmm. Huh. I'll use this instead of scissors. Yeah, let's do this! Who uses scissors on a coconut? At least I'm using my melon. Huh. Hmm. Oh, she drilled a detailed carving into a coconut in a matter of minutes. You've done very well. I'm honored, sir. <laughs> For gluten's sake! <laughs> no, Wilk! Carving a coconut with a pair of scissors? Can't you do anything right? <laughs> and the winner is... Melon Bread, of course. <laughs> Wilk, my boy. Why did you use the scissors? Well, of course I knew it would be easier to use the drill. 
But when I pictured the coconut as a customer's head, I couldn't bring myself to carve it with a drill. Oh, so that's why. All right, enough dilly-dallying. For the second round, chocolate syrup hunt! The first to bring back a warm, fresh batch of chocolate syrup will be declared the winner! What? Huh? But I'm a stranger to this neighborhood. I don't know where to begin to find uh, a... Hmm? I think I know huh? a place. Let's go huh? together. Oh, uh. Here it is, the best mm -hmm. chocolate syrup factory in Bakery oh. Town. Oh. Mm. Good afternoon to you, sir. Hi there, <laughs> Wilk. Sir, mm -hmm. might we get a freshly made, piping hot batch of chocolate syrup? Oh, what sticky timing. You see, it's lunchtime now and everyone's on their break. Just hold on for a little bit. I'll be back soon. Sure. Have a nice lunch. Their chocolate syrup is made from 100% pure. <laughs> melon bread, what are you doing? There's no time to waste. Wait, I'm going to grab insane. a batch myself. <sighs> <sighs> Let's do this. I've got it. Fall in? Trying to save me? I'm so sorry. Huh? Wilk? I'm okay. I'm a milk carton so I can float. Now you go ahead. I'll catch up soon. Huh? Hmm. Uh, 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 looks like I made it. Uh, melon bread. I can't believe that you waited for me. No one's gonna say that I cheated my way to the top. Uh? You can play it cool, but I can tell you've got a warm mm -hmm. heart. What? Hey, you can stand there and keep babbling, but I'm out of here. <laughs> Wait for me! <laughs> hey, Master Bread, we're back! Huh? At the same time? And what took you so long? <laughs> Funny story. I was clumsy and fell into the syrup barrel. Oh, why am I not surprised? In that case, huh? we'll have to call this round a draw. A draw? Does that mean I won? No, the last uh. round will determine who wins. The ultimate feat, the 100-tier uh. fruit uh. tower. 100-tier fruit tower? Impossible. Uh. The first to make a tower with 100 uh. tiers wins the match. Let the final match begin. In order to build a tower that tall, I will start with the largest fruit at the base. Huh. Hmm. Well, watermelons, it's you and me. Cantaloupes above them. And then the pineapples. Melon bread seems to have a great hmm. stacking tactic. Hmm, indeed. Uh, looks like I'm going to take this home. Almost. Huh? Whoa, no. Huh? Ah! Oh, my head. What in the gluten was he thinking? Oh, you imbecile. Hmm? You had no tactics. No wonder it <laughs> collapsed. Huh. I completed the task. I can't believe she completed it so quickly. Astonishing. A job well done. Wilk, mm -hmm. you can come down. The match is over. Uh, already? Let's have a look at Wilk's tower, shall uh. we? What am I even looking at? It has no tears. It has no shape. Did you have any plan at all? Hmm. I hereby declare the winner is Melon Bread. <laughs> Nitwit! You didn't even win a single round! <laughs> I'm sorry I let you down, sir. Tomorrow we're going to start back at square one! Sir, I'll try my very best, sir! Bread, mm. you keep taking good care of the barbershop. I will, sir. Hey, Melon Bread, congratulations on winning! <laughs> you were a worthy opponent. I'm going to work so hard so I can challenge you again next time. Does that sound like a deal? Hmm. Hmm. That sounds like a good deal to me. All right, now, we'd better go or else we'll miss our train. Uh, have a safe journey, you two. Bye, Melon Bread. <laughs> well, now that you've battled Wilk, how do you measure his skills? At first, I thought he was just a clumsy, inept milk carton. But then I realized what a fair, kind heart he has. 
Still, I'm not very sure mm -hmm. he'll ever be a real barber. Hmm. Are you sure? Huh? Unlike you, Wilk didn't use a drill in the first round. Instead, he used scissors because he uh. thought of that coconut as the client's head. But... but that... And then in the second uh. round, as you know, Wilk was kind enough to help out his opponent. Uh, how did you know? <laughs> There's no way you would have chosen to return together. <laughs> For the last round, Wilk could have finished quickly by stacking the fruit as you did, but it took him longer because he was trying to come up with a meaningful design. Here, take a look. Huh? That child was making a 100-tier statue. The outcome of the match isn't what's important. It's how you respond afterwards, whether you win or lose. You won this battle fair and square, but I'm curious to see who wins next time. <laughs> I finally did it! Time to go! Ooh. Master Pig! You waited for me all this time? You're the best! I wasn't waiting for you, I just dozed off. Master Fred, wait for me! Here I come! 